All right, <laughs> for your live chat, guys, before you guys say it, I messed my hair up and I had to shave it off. I was trying to do lightning bolts. You know, they wouldn't have See? even noticed if you yes, didn't take it. No, because your hat is on. Oh, well, It my just looks like you cut it really short on the sides. Okay, well, maybe I'll just leave my hat. I tried to do lightning bolts and it looked like an H at the end of it. I, I still don't understand why you want to put lightning bolts in your hair. I, like... You it don't was, like Harry Potter. I was I'm just going to say it's homage to Harry Potter. Did you see that um that they had the 20 year reunion on HBO? No. I started to try to watch it over Christmas break, but I only made it halfway through the third movie. I know I saw I was like, "Oh, someone's watching Harry Potter." I really try I wanted to get through it all so bad, but I just really didn't have time. It, they take a they are long movies. It's a commitment, man. Jen, are you going to introduce your friends? Can you, yeah, can you do it for like a whole day. I think it, I think it, it takes like longer two two day. than a day. Yeah, yeah, I think two it's a two-day event. Oh, yeah. hi, I'm Tara. <laughs> Jen's <laughs> friend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, our friend. This is, yes. hey everyone, uh, This today we have my good dear friend Tara with me from, she's I've known her since college, so mm-hmm. she's staying with me Hello. in Somerville. Uh, and moving. The, yeah, moving to Somerville. Movers, moving or, yeah. to Somerville. <laughs> so. Love that. Katie's a cosmetologist, right? I believe she is. How quickly will my hair grow back, Katie? Isn't it like a, an eighth of an inch a, a month di- or something? A, m- a month? Well, no. Luckily, you're a guy, so it will grow a back a little faster. A I, think. I think it's a quarter. Of Is a that because I get my hair cut more? Yeah, I okay. think so. And also, if you eat, like have certain vitamins and stuff, it will help your hair. Uh-huh. Oh, he is the he's the Biotin. vitamin guru. So <laughs> that's yeah, why this I, is true. That's why yeah. I don't pluck my nose hairs because I know they'll just come back. Like that's definitely an old wives' tale. No, it's not. They just said if you pl- if you take I your hair if off. you cut your hair like you trim it and it will grow back. Well, faster. see, okay, so but I that doesn't always... make. S- I know, I know. They say that, but th- how does that even make sense? Because to... it's trained to grow back. I don't know. Like, how <laughs> does it know just... that it's too short? Right? Because it's mean, a it living ha- cell. No, no. I ha- think your hair is dead. It's cells. a dead cell. But your hair grows even when you're dead. So. That's true. In your oh, nose and your nails. Yeah. We're just gonna be wrong about this one. <laughs> oh my gosh! Speaking of wrong, um, so. I, the other day, reviewed the people who passed away in 2021, R.I.P. Betty White. Yes. Oh, you didn't know? No. So she died on New Year's Eve. Oh, I was like going to say, did this, did this yeah, like yesterday. Like two days ago. Oh, oh shit. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought you knew. Sorry. No, that's okay. We don't have we, social media. I feel media. like we were just talking about Betty White, too. Yeah, that like... When she goes, all bets are off. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure we just had that conversation. But uh, happy to report that Al Sharpton is <laughs> still alive. Still kicking it. <laughs> but Betty White uh, has died. <laughs> so. Oh, my gosh. But what's really ironic is that she was playing this huge 100th birthday party. And her birthday was January 17th. Um, and People Magazine published before it happened about her 100th birthday and her 100th birthday celebration. So I am blaming People Magazine for killing Betty White. So she yeah. didn't make it to her 100th birthday? No. No. Oh, that's sad. Like literally three weeks away. Oh, man. 18 days. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's sad. Thanks, so. Jen. Well, that brought down the mood. <laughs> Sorry. Well, can you believe, like, can you... Think about yourself living till 100. I think I'll be good at 87. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to just call it quits at that point. 87. We talk about this often, <laughs> but I, I really don't think that I'm going to be that old when I die. And the, the going theory is a car crash. God. That is just so fucking terrible. It is terrible, but that's just my Boy, gut feeling. At least get another 100 episodes it's, in. It's not a <laughs> gut feeling. Like... You just have a superstition. That's but maybe all. we should add that in the contract. If Jen dies, then. But I mean, you say it. So what the hell? No, I, I don't think say you'll, when I, I don't was think going you'll to die. A- and, and oh, I, you don't, she doesn't think that <laughs> no, I will you die live forever. <laughs> you can live forever if you make it to twenty forty five. I've already told you that. I don't know if I want to live forever. Let's give away this raffle. Oh yeah, the raffle. So we only had one episode last week. It was a holiday week. So we only have seven entries, which, I mean, all you gotta Still, do that's is... that's pretty good for Christmas week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know, but what I'm trying to say is you have a one out of seven chance to win a gift card. I know it's only 25 that's bucks, awesome. but dude, you can win every week. 25 bucks is a pretty good deal. It's not like if a one out of a yeah, thousand chance, you know? It's a, it's a one out of seven chance. That's Holy perfect. shit. That's a great... Katie! Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, look at that! I love it 
one it's people that are on the chat yeah all right katie congratulations congratulations since you're on the chat i'll go ahead and send that over right right meow lauren michael Hey, Lauren. From Sweden. Sweden. That's cool. Wow, that's really cool. Um, He does have a surprise shot request that is specific. Okie dokie. And I... It's one that also contains Everclear, so I really (laughs) have got to get to the store and get some Everclear. There's like three surprise or four surprise shot requests that contain Everclear. So I was going to go yesterday. I went to um, Home Goods yesterday real quick, and I was going to go to Total Wine, but it was closed. So... Um, they're putting a home goods in Somerville. Oh, they're also putting a Lidl next to the home goods, which is Lidl is like another grocery oh, like store. An, uh, is it owned by Aldi or am I thinking Did you of say Lidl else? or Ladle? Lidl. Lidl. L-I-D-L. I, I think, think that is. Is, is it an Aldi? Aldi? Yeah. But Aldi is owned by Trader Jones. Trader, Trader Joe's. Jones. <laughs> Trader Joe's. <laughs> which is the brother of Indiana Jones, obviously. Yeah, clearly it's the off-brand. Trader Joe's is the off-brand. Uh, uh, Trader Jones is the off-brand of Trader Joe's that is not Aldi. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Um, but I wish they put a Trader Joe's out there, but I, apparently there, you have to have, like, the... I guess that you have to have the mean median income has to be above a certain point before they put... Mm-hmm. Hmm. And the amount of people, too. Oh, and the amount yeah. of people. So we can dedicate this one to Lauren, um, but his official re- request is coming. So maybe this one should just be to Tara. Oh, yeah, thank our you. special guest, Tara. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Surprise shots. Surprise shots. We don't know what they are because they're a surprise. Cheers. 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 Tastes like fruit punch. That was a combo, and that was a pretty good combo. What was it? Peach and orange. Oh, you know, I should have put that in my Baja Blast because yeah. I think that would have um, been better. That was good. By the way, we're trying out uh, a new hard seltzer. Now that I finally finished my cases of white claw, like the white claw, <laughs> the fruit punch, the lemonades, the, tea. the teas, um, we're ready to try a new one. I think I like that guava. The the Kona one. Um, this is better than truly. Yeah, I think this is good. So this is Vizzy. They have like three different variety packs. So we, I've got the blackberry lemon. Which one do you have, Jen? Papaya passion fruit. And you've got watermelon oh. strawberry. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't like Truly. I think Truly is pretty bad. I like White Claw more oh, wait, than Truly. What am I thinking of? Oh, maybe I am thinking of White Claw. The what? Truly uh, is sweeter than White Claw. Maybe I'm thinking of White Claw. White Claw has is more like because y'all always drink them and I never drink it. Correct. Because I don't. I don't. But like do you it. like this? Yeah, I like this. Hmm. I don't know. It, it just. But, I think but my, how much alcohol has it got in it compared to the other like one? A, it's, it's a, a beer. Five percent. It's about a beer. Yeah. And only one gram of sugar, two carbs. Two carbs, That's not bad at dude. All. This is my new 2022 diet. I'm only going <laughs> to drink these things. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes. <laughs> you guys. So everyone knows about the Delphi. Murders. So what are I you don't think I do murders? actually, which is. Do you remember it, the Delphi murder case? No, I don't. It was the one where. Two, I tell us about it. Yeah. So there were two girls that were in like, Indiana walking on it, like this weird, deserted bridge that looks creepy as fuck mm-hmm. in the woods mm-hmm. in Indiana, and they disappeared, and they were like twelve, thirteen ish, yeah. right? And they were found at the bottom of a hill. No, no, no. It, they they have a recording. They released a recording of someone on the hill. Oh, down yeah. Down the hill. Well, and yeah. they let's, have a picture right, just, of a just guy. Stop there. Let, let's, since she hasn't, okay. she doesn't oh, okay. know. Let's okay. stop there. Okay. I'm super excited about this because I do think about this case very often in that sound clip down the hill. That's where That's I was getting creepy. What it's was like a supernatural type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the planet Earth. Ooh. Welcome. Whoa. That's where we live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been playing um, this video game. I mean, we, as in John, plays a video game, and I watch and encourage with you know, the projector. Him. Yes, with the projector, which is awesome. <laughs> you need to um, see it, Tara. It's, it's really cool. cool. Yeah, especially like watching porn. It's like Ew. boobs. <laughs> Oh like my God! Do you want to share the story from yesterday? <laughs> Wait, which? Oh, with me? No, with your dad. Oh, no, no. I'm never. talking about porn and you bring up Wait. her dad? Yeah, I was trying okay. to help my dad okay. with something and then it 
I was trying to up, t- ter- take no. off all his like things, and then all of a sudden something popped up, and I was like, Ugh. "Oh no!" Yeah. So now Tara knows what kind of porn her dad watches. Yeah, what I is didn't this? look. At, I don't even know. It was just was girls. it like Lots I bet of it was girls. like pee was porn? Ew! What pee porn? Ew! No, like urination or Bra- golden showers? <laughs> <laughs> Brazilian fart porn. I hate that oh, word. What? Yeah, that's a real thing. I can't believe that what? you said that word. But what I is that? I hate that word. Well, that's the. What because the Brazilian butts are so big, it's a, and then it's the Brazilian yeah. girls they poot on each other. Ew. I'm I'm gonna start from the beginning. How about that? Let's just start from the beginning. Sure. Let's go. So back, back to the beginning. We we are on. We are in Indiana. Indiana. Okay. And this was 2017, February 14th. Which Actually, point? excuse me, February thirteenth. The bodies That's my were half found. Birthday. The bodies were found the next day, February fourteenth. Valentine's That's Day. That's Stella's birthday. Tara, this right here is a Delphi Bridge. As beautiful as they try to make it look, it does look and a little creepy. Yeah. Apparently, this shit is deteriorating. There's a guy that is the killer of the story. And the reason he's walking with a limp from what they're saying is because the bridge is deteriorating. So if you look at the bridge, I mean, it's beautiful, but why would you freaking, why haven't they fixed it? I mean, this, I mean, everyone walks to this bridge. It's an accident. It is an accident. I mean, I know this is a horrible crime, but I'm saying like they should, they should repair this thing if it's deteriorating and people are like stepping over rotten boards. Remind me, is it an old railroad bridge or is it just like a bridge over i think it's just an old bridge like from the 1900s yeah but so this story and a lot of you guys on live chat know this there are two victims in the story they were best friends and i'm pulling a lot of what happened as far as the timeline of this event from the sister because she has been very public about it, trying to get the misinformation, you squash, stuff like that. But the two girls, Abby Williams, and I'll show you right now, uh, Abigail. Did this happen? How recently did this happen? This is 2017. Okay, so pretty You may have recent. heard of it. I... I don't know. <laughs> we've we've done an yeah. episode on it before. It, this was an early, relatively early episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So these are the two girls right here. So this is Abigail Williams and Libby German. Her name her name is Liberty, but they call her Libby. Libby. So you'll hear Abby and Libby. That's uh, mm-hmm. what everyone uses. So mm-hmm. they were walking across this bridge right here, and a lot of people do walk across this bridge. If people walk across it, I think they should. Eat. Either demolish it or fix it up. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you yeah. walk across it, no. Fix it I'm up. saying, I is mean, is there a trail there? Yeah. So this is actually a huge trail. So if we go back to the Google Earth, you'll see. One second. Yeah, they should rebuild it and put maybe a blue light there in case of emergency. This is where the girls were dropped off right here. They were dropped off by the sister, Lib- Libby's sister. They were dropped off by the Monon High Bridge, which I'm, I think is this. They were dropped off right here, and then the trail goes all the way up in here. So they walked a good, I mean, what is this, to to right here? This is where they were murdered. That's where the down the hill is. Yeah, but snapped. how, how yeah. far uh, do you think this is? Um, a Probably a mile or two. Maybe a mile. Yeah, maybe a mile, a mile and a half. Mile? Okay. The sister drops them off. Now, this is February 13th, 2017, at the Monon High Bridge. It's an abandoned railroad bridge over Deer Creek in Carroll County. But the grandmother actually was trying to call the girls to see where they were because she got worried. She got that, you know, that sense when you that when feeling. you get which I see in a lot of cases too. Like when the mother, like even if her son's on another you know, in another country. My mom country. was definitely like that. A they witchy like sense. know, right? She, they get, yeah. she knows. She'd call me like, what's going on? She would what's always wrong? Know. <laughs> she definitely got know. me out of a lot of trouble like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what moms are for. Yes. Yeah. Well, wasn't there a story where you were going to go to a, like a party and she called you and was like, don't go. And then something happened at that party. Yeah. They got Whoa. like a, a bunch of 
kids came in and they stole a bunch of stuff <gasps> out and they wrecked this girl's house. And we got out, like we went to the party and my mom was like, I don't have a good feeling. Like, let's go back. And she took me and my friend back and wow. the kids wrecked this house. Oh, wow. wow. Mom's intuition. Mm -hmm. yes. Maureen was good about that. Yeah. She was very witchy <laughs> in that witchy. sense. <laughs> she just knew. All right. So this is where I pulled the, the little details from this guy. Uh, Gray Hughes, he's a, um, I don't know, like a private investigator or something. Anyway, he was interviewing Kelsey German, which is the sister of Liberty German. I'll put the YouTube link on talkmore.com, but you can go there. She has also done other videos. She's very outspoken because her sister's murdered mm -hmm. and she's trying to figure out who it is. And not only that, but there's a lot of misinformation about the case. A lot of online sleuths on this mm -hmm. case, you know, and... I mean, she was even talking about in this interview that she said that her sister went back to the car to get a uh, sweatshirt and people were just livid saying, no, it was a jacket. She went to get a jacket. So, I mean, her own sister's like, OK, geez, you know what? The, yeah. Oh, God. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. It's, but I, I feel terrible. I mean, if I was the sister that dropped her off, I don't know. If, I don't know how I'd be able to cope. With no, she, I mean, she didn't. I mean, how would she ever know? No, exactly. But well, still, were they meeting someone or were they? No. Oh, so this was just they were just wanted to they, go they out just and wanted to walk in nature. And and, unfortunately, but they they're twelve and thirteen. I don't know. As a mother, I'd probably be a little bit like anxious. Yeah. But she wasn't that. a mother. She was a sister. Yeah, she was yeah. a sister. Oh, yeah, that's true. And I you mean, think like, hey, you've, you've got your phone you've and got your friend. A, you're yeah, you're with someone else. I don't oh, know. they had phones. I, I okay. can't. If it, it was like a trail that people walked on frequently, I guess. Like, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't put myself in that position. No, I sure. just, no. I just meant like if I was the one that dropped them off, like I, I don't know post everything. I know it's been a few years, but like, I, like I would, I just feel, I would feel terrible. Like I wouldn't want to be in her situation. I agree. I mean, ugh. unfortunately the girls had the day off. So in Indiana on this day, which was February 13th, I guess, and I guess they do this in school, but they give you a certain number of snow days and if it doesn't snow, they'll yeah. they'll still give you that day or whatever. Yes. So it, when usually it, they wait until the end of the year because yeah. yeah, it might usually. still snow in, <clears throat> yeah. in this February. time of year. Yeah, but apparently, yeah, I guess February. They'll usually just end school earlier or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, because you have as long as you have 180 days of school. But if it would have snowed then the girls would have been at school and this wouldn't have happened to them. I'm not saying it wouldn't have happened to anyone. Cause you know, if, if the guy, the murderer, which we don't know who it, who that is yet, like maybe he's an opportunist killer. So, but anyway, it's unfortunate that they did have that day off. So Libby, a Liberty German asked her sister, Kelsey to drop them off at the bridge. She dropped the two girls off at around one thirty. On her way to work. The sister drops the girls off and then she goes to her boyfriend's house to get ready for work. Then she goes to work. Doesn't think anything else about it. The grandma actually is the one that starts calling the girls phone over and over and over and over and over. Trying to find out where Liberty is and Abigail. Okay, they know they're at the bridge. They all go to the bridge. The whole family goes to the bridge. They don't find anything. Big search party goes out because they are underage. This is 13 and 14 year old. And on February 14th at 1230 p.m. So one day later, about 24 hours later, they find their bodies, the two girls bodies. That is the, the Delphi story as is. Now, there is a a video and a photo that goes along with this. So. There was a Snapchat photo, which is right here, if you want to see this. This is a guy that is walking on the bridge. Now, I'm not getting too deep in the murder itself. This episode specifically is an update. So, if you, if you haven't heard all the details on the Delphi murder, I've covered that case in the past. I don't know what episode it is, but I went through and covered everything about the murder and autopsy and all everything you need to know on there this specifically is an update episode about the murder okay just to let you know mm -hmm. all right so this is the man 
that they believe is the killer or at least a person of interest. They have never found this man yet, and there has been plenty of people arrested, but no one has yet panned out to be this man. So this uh, paper right here, this is from uh, The Republic, 17th of February, 2017, so a few days after. It talks about how the FBI, state police, and local law enforcement have been on the case trying to figure out who this man is. Like, who is this guy? They were found about a quarter mile away from the abandoned railroad bridge that they were on. So if you go back and you look at the Snapchat photos prior to it, you can actually see that they were on the bridge at the time. There's a photo of Abigail. That's a famous photo here that is actually, she is on the bridge. And this was, this was taken the day of. This is a recent, re recently released photo? No, no, no. This oh, was I released prior, remember. yeah. I but, don't remember this photo. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is the bodies were found a quarter mile w away from the bridge. Okay. So to pinpoint them as definitely they were walking on the bridge, mm -hmm. this is one of the photos they used right here. And this is the actual photo right here. The only one they have. Now, this is a Snapchat photo. And it's been put out quite a bit by the police. And that was the day of? Yeah, this is the day of. Okay. This is taken from the girl's Snapchat. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is from the girl's Snapchat phone. So going back to uh, the, the actual day itself, they were dropped, out, they were dropped off at the Monenhai Bridge. And that's the last time anyone has seen them alive. There was a video that came out that was also part of the Snapchat. In fact, this photo that you see of the guy here is ta is a still image of the Snapchat video. You know, Snapchat, how, mm -hmm. how long is Snapchat videos? Is it like seven seconds? Is it like uh, a limit? Like you go up to tw well, y you have like, what, 15 seconds and they'll go to the next video? And yeah, video something video. like that. Uh, something like but that. how long can you record a video for? As long as you can. As, as long as you, you want? And then you could cut it down. Yeah, it used to be, oh. it used to be um, Only like snippets, six, though. Yeah. Like 10 seconds, maybe. I wonder if, if it was like that, though, Yeah, what, in 2017. Yeah, 2017, was it like that? It was you know? probably like the snippets. Mm. Like I feel 15, like it was 20. so long ago. I know. Yes, I know. Okay, so... The police department put out a famous video, the, the snap, they put out a Snapchat video, which has become infamous. And Nicole said it earlier. The guy is saying, what, what is he saying? Down the hill. Down the hill. So recently, well, when we covered the case, that was the video that was out. Down the hill. Yes. Yeah, and I'm, let me just show you that right now. Since then, they put out a longer snippet of the video. I don't know why they they haven't put out the whole freaking video, but now the video, as you'll see here. So this is just loop back and forth. So guys, and then you hear a, a space down the hill. Do you think he was like taught, telling that or? Saying that there's guys down the hill, or like, I'm going to kill you down the hill. Well, all right, so all right, look at the video right quick. It must have been snap. Like this she, was this is from this okay. is from the girl's phone. So she is really close to them or to to him. Okay, so I, I guess maybe she's recording it like at her side or something. I'm not sure how she did it, but this guy says guys down the hill. No, his hands are in his pocket. His hands yeah, are in his pockets. Yeah, but he could have pockets. like a Bluetooth in his ear, right? Uh, I don't think those things were super popular back then. Yeah. Look how he's walking. Because I was, when I when I saw how he's walking, he's walking with a limp. Mm -hmm. Or is that the uneven boards? That's the no, uneven that's... boards. I, you know, I finally got uh, clarification on that. The uh, The actual FBI put out that the reason he's walking like that is because the deterioration of the bridge. <laughs> Because look at him, kind of. He's looking down because the bridge is literally falling apart. <laughs> like, the and fuck? there's spaces between the boards. Yeah. There's spaces between the boards. So he is saying guys down the hill. So down the hill, as you saw, was, you know, the big bridge. He wants to go down in, into the ravine. So tell me, Tara, since you haven't heard the story, and, that, and that's a story. Yeah. I'm not going to get into the autopsy. I've done that mm -hmm. on the last one. But they were found brutally murdered. First told me about this, I thought maybe they were placed there like 
they were murdered somewhere else and they brought them down there because apparently, you know, you said that the family already went there to look for them. Maybe. Yeah, but, some but they were on the bridge. Something. They were actually down the hill, like he was saying, like they were down in the ravine. There's a there's a river that runs through there. They were down pushed about a quarter mile away from where this, this video is taking place. Oh, OK. Yeah. That's why he says down the hill. I guess, you know, maybe uh, I don't know why exactly they went down there, but from what it looks like to me that they voluntarily went down there. Because there's two of them, and he's not going to pick both of them up, you know, and, and yeah. bring them a quarter mile down the hill. So I don't know. But anyway. So is any, this like a call for help? Is that is that what you're getting at? Like, What do you mean? Like he was videoing, uh, they were videoing like secretly because it was a call for help. Like they're going down the hill. Maybe. Maybe. That's know. a good. Hard to know. Yeah, it's hard to know. I just think I it's, wondered that I too. still think it's strange that like a 12 and 13 year old wouldn't. Like, they're not meeting up with anyone? Or well, are they? A, are they, though? Because that is... That's another thing. That's a theory. I'm yeah. going to get into that. But are they... Because they have Snapchat, and they obviously use it to meet people. Just, and not, all the well, kids are out of school, so maybe they're meeting yeah, exactly. some guys down the hill or so, something. Some sort of thing. Exactly. Mm, so, a lot... I, the, I think the case is turning now, kind of more focusing on, is it a uh, like a meetup? type of situation yeah. and and they went to meet someone you know this guy perhaps yeah the, he, he could have been catfishing them yeah yeah so that's the case in general now i'm going to go through the updates about everything we know so far there's been a lot of people arrested for this murder still nothing conclusive yet has come out no one has actually been charged or convicted at least with the murder so if we look at this, this is from the Republic, the 17th of February, 2017. This is the first news that had broken about this case. This is where you see the photo of the man and late in later year in later years, because it has been years, they try to to uh, get the photo less grainy. They're trying different tricks like that. And there's even like um, there's even a video of someone going like VR style through through the bridge and looking at like the shadows mm. and trying to like determine how tall the guy is and stuff like that. It's like all kinds of stuff like that. Anyway, this paper talks about how the task force consists of FBI, state police and local law enforcement. As I said, they were found a mile away from the abandoned bridge Libby asked her sister Kelsey to take them to the bridge. They were dropped off at 1.30. It was a snow day that they had free off of school. The dad was going to pick them up. Kelsey drops them off. Then she goes to work, and then they were found February 14th at 12.30. Okay, now this is a little bit... Uh, this right here is from the Palladium item, the 12th July of 2019, if you want to read this. This horrible crime has torn a hole in our families that will never heal, he says. It's the small things that seem to hurt the most. It's just natural to holler for them come to dinner or in the mornings to get up and get ready for school and expect them to come through the door after school. The silence when we don't hear their voice. Liberty's cell phone was the phone that was on that was pinged. The sister, her sister clarifies this because there's a lot of mis misinformation about it. It has been pinged by three different cell towers. So a lot of online sleuths claim that, well, the, maybe the body was moved or, you know, may, maybe traveled different places. There, from what the sister says, there's an unusual amount of cell towers really close to each other. So they can all ping that one phone at the same time type of thing. So that is just one of the, the misinformation that has gone out there. There's a lot of disinformation about this case specifically. On March 1st, 2017, the reward for any information leading to an arrest and conviction reached $220,000. Now it's over that. It since has jumped to $224,000 and may even be more now, which is a lot for a case. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. What you read, Nicole, was from the grandfather of Libby. Mm -hmm. That's Liberty's okay. grandfather. The first big news was where is the bodies found? Okay, the the bodies were actually found on someone's property and that guy was this. 
So we're going through all the the news about what happened. This is the guy right here that the the girls were found on his property. On March 17th, they searched his property. He's he owns a 40 acre lot, huge, and he he claims that he didn't have anything to do with it. And they since have ruled him out. Okay, he says, "quote It was something I couldn't get my emotions around." You can't believe that something this terrible in this community happened here on my property in my backyard, end quote. Now, they really thought that this guy has something to do with it because he has kind of a, a shady past and he has a very weird alibi. On this day that they were murdered, he had an alibi and that was he was 20 miles away, quote, buying tropical fish, end quote. Which is fucking weird. Does he have a receipt for said tropical fish? <laughs> I guess he did. However, he was also arrested and for an unrelated incident. He was arrested for unrelated probation violations. He apparently this guy and he was locked up for two years because he was a habitual traffic offender. Oh, so it was That's speeding. a long time for traffic offenders. I know, but I guess if you just... Yes, it was real bad. If you freaking yeah. speed all the time and don't pay parking tickets... I mean, they locked him up for two huh. years for this. Well, it's not like it's a related crime. It's not like he was a... Right. No, I, I, I know. Like a sex track of a good friend yeah, or something. I, no, say I, was like, I thought you were going to say. Like, That's pretty related. Well. Yes. <laughs> I know, but think about it. Everyone's really trying to figure out who did this. So they're looking at... I no wonder why he lives thing. with 40 acres. He doesn't want yeah. anyone on his property. He yeah, he, he needs a place to of, drive around. Do some donuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving through the timeline here. On July 17th of that year, this photo, which has now become infamous, was released. This is apparently what this man looks like. If you go back and look at this guy, mm. that's about what you can see from what he looks like. July 17th, this sketch was released. There's a male between 5'6 and 5'10, 180 to 220 pounds, which is a pretty wide freaking mm, yeah. range, dude. Reddish brown hair, eye color unknown. So this is the, this is the sketch. I guess that makes sense, though, with the way he was walking. We don't really know if it was, like, yeah. you yeah. know, with the boards and everything. Mm -hmm. But the thing about these sketches, as I've seen doing these cases is they often become they often make it worse because now people are so fixated on someone that looks exactly like this especially if if it's like a victim sketch and the sketch artist and if they don't get something right or if it looks nothing like it the whole case including the police are fixated they got that tunnel they got the tunnel vision and they only are trying to find people that look like this not yeah. looking at their other senses of exactly and, and if the guy doesn't look like this at all then they're screwed this guy you can know shave saying? and look different or shave I mean, his head, hair and everything yeah that you've seen what he looked like how do you know how do you pull this image from that grainy ass snapchat video yeah you know what i'm saying so I don't know. I'm just saying. I've seen a lot of these where the it's guy... It's really like body type that is yeah. the best descriptor in that type of video. With this, it doesn't even have his body in it. I know. It's his face. But so everyone kind of fixates on, oh, like, does my neighbor look like this? Oh, my husband looks like this. He did it kind of shit, you know? Yeah. I don't know. On September 17th of that year, Colorado police arrested their, their, first, their first guy that they thought did it. Completely did it. Not the guy that they were found on the property. He was just a traffic violator. But they arrested someone for the first time, and the internet went crazy. And this is where the this misinformation comes in. But sep September 17th, they arrest this guy named Daniel Nations. He was arrested initially because he had an expired Indiana license plate. He was actually in Colorado when he was arrested. So the Colorado police arrest this guy for expired license then they noticed that hey you look like a sketch from indiana you know type of thing or whatever his wife said now this is this uh, let me show you the picture of this guy this is the guy right here oh wow what do you think kind of looks like him uh, yeah not at all right no 
His wife. And, and I would say, like, the thing that <sighs> stands out to me the most is that the body type seems very different. Yeah. His nose for me. There is totally one guy different. I'm going to show you that looks fucking exactly like the guy. They arrest quite a bit of people. And I want to say, a lot of people give the cops kind of shit for not solving the case. I mean, it's 2017 when it happened. It's 2022. Mm-hmm. You Was there DNA s- or anything on the girls? Not to get into the autopsy. No, a lot is, I mean, it's still a closed case. So oh, okay. a lot of this stuff is speculation. They have stuff that they don't release. The, the reason they don't release stuff like that is because if someone, if they arrest someone that knows information that is not available or whatever, then they, they have that, the killer or whatever. But it's kind of a double-edged sword because the public could provide information to help catch this guy too if we had the information type of thing. They also don't want to release potential suspects because they, if the guy didn't kill them or di- didn't kill the yeah, girls, they don't want to... trying to kill, kill yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah, you have a whole yeah. freaking online community trying to, like, hassle and, you know, harass whoever. Anyway, this is the guy. Now, his wife did not help him <laughs> at all about this. The wife, this guy's wife, says, quote... I can't tell if that is him or not. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. That's, that's cool. He must have gotten a big argument. Yeah. <laughs> I told you to take care of that registration. Yeah, so his wife, Caitlin, says, quote, I can't tell if that is him or not. Then she says, but the one thing I am not going to buckle on he did not have that jacket, end quote. That blue jacket. <laughs> it's hideous. Well, I wouldn't let him have it. She's like, I buy yeah. all of his clothes and that and item red. is not Everything one Everything is of them. red, not blue. <laughs> so he was arrested on <laughs> September 17th. Like I said, February 14th, he's completely eliminated as a suspect. Okay, so he's gone. Mm. Now, okay. He says, quote, about this, because his life apparently has been pretty shitty after this. Because, I mean, this he's all over the freaking world now. Everyone yeah. thinks he has something to do with it. He says, quote, I feel like a victim in this situation. I just want people to know the truth that I am not a monster. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But unfortunately, yeah. you know, you're in the public eye related to this case. I mean, you know, that's just so how it is. So was he living in Colorado or was he just visiting? No, he was working in Colorado and he had expired plates. Okay. And they kind of linked it together. They should not have let the media got gotten a hold of this yeah, information after, whatsoever. Yeah, never, exactly. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the next guy that was uh, arrested. July 19th, 2018. So about one year later, about a one a year and what, two months, three months, something like that. July 19th, 2018, a John Miller, 59 of Indiana. And this is him right here. Oh, oh God, he looks bad, dude. Now, I just want to touch the bottom row of my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> every I, dude, that's good. That, all right, let me show you this. Every photo that I've seen of him, he's got his mouth open in that weird fucking way. Let me show you. This is so. It's almost crazy. like he looks he like one of those symptom. dogs. <laughs> it's making me th- like, uh, like, like one of the dog. yipper dogs. Oh, <laughs> or yeah. I'm, I'm like, when's my next dentist appointment? <laughs> every freaking yeah. photo, he's got his mouth open in such a creepy way. Maybe he can't close like, it. He's got an underbite. Maybe he Does he doesn't have, have a disability? Um, I don't yeah, uh, know. I didn't see like, that. But it's just like, geez, man. I think he may have uh, an underbite. Maybe he doesn't have any front is, teeth. A ba- uh, could top be. Top teeth. Maybe. I don't know. Showing what he's got. <laughs> now, he is. he was arrested for a very infamous murder, which I haven't actually covered yet, but I'm going to tell you about it. This is him right here. What oh was my God! He, it's scary. He is creepy. What looking. was he charged? What murder was he responsible for? This guy, John Miller, fifty-nine years old of Fort Wayne, Indiana, was arrested July nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. He was arrested for the April T- the April Tinsley murder, which is a very infamous murder that. that oh, excuse me. Which is a very infamous murder that a lot of true crime podcasters cover. I see that all the time. Her <laughs> name all the time. So this was a murder that was committed in April of 1988. So they got him with that new DNA stuff. Oh, wow. You know, the Ancestry.com stuff. That is quite the handwriting. Yeah. Yeah, so this was... So 
April Tinsley was an eight-year-old girl, and her body was found thrown in a ditch. Found three days later, this guy right here, John Miller, is spending 80 years in prison, which is his natural life, obviously. He lives, or he lived about two hours away from Delphi. This is the letter that he wrote to police. So he would, he was one of those taunters. Mm. The, I mean, in 1988, 1988 is when he killed the girl and he wasn't arrested till 2018, which is 30 years. Yep. So all in that time, he's sending the police notes. And if you want to read this. Hi, honey, I've been watching you. I am the same person that kidnapped and raped and kill April Kinsley. You are my next victim if you don't report this to police. Oh, and I don't see this in the paper tomorrow or in the local news, or I will blow... Blow up you. Up you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, he's in prison forever. All right, next guy that... Wait, go ahead, say something. You're going to say something? I had a very random comment. You know how you just said, like, he was sentenced to 80 years the rest of his natural-born life? Think about how the whole bu- thing that we were just talking oh, about God. When, when they <laughs> Dude, in you just 2045, yeah. <laughs> whenever people get whatever it is that we're going to figure out, like what it oh, do we man. change it sentences? Is, it's not. No, it's not something we're going to get. Oh, it's not a biotic. No, We've been no. playing too much Mass Effect. No, no. Listen, <laughs> we can replace the heart, the lung. Every organ in your body okay, can be prisoners not eligible. Got it. I'm fine. <laughs> It was just an interesting thought that I had. What Every is- organ in your body can be not only replaced, but grown specifically to your body. But, okay, so what if what if a mass murderer ha- already has like a plastic heart? They're letting mass murderers out for COVID, so... I know, but what if a mass murderer has a plastic heart? Does he get a different sentence? He gets life in prison versus 80 years, you know, because... <sighs> like, do, do we have to start changing the sentencing? This went to the police. So he wrote, yeah, he was writing letters to the the police. Yeah. Was he using a different hand? (laughs) Right? Like, no, maybe he had a stroke. I mean, my handwriting looked like that. Look at his eyes. Like, yeah, he had a stroke or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, that is the creepiest freaking guy I've ever seen in my life. Like those teeth that look like. I don't know if I would say creepiest. Those ugly teeth fish. He's up there. (laughs) Oh, yeah. He reminds me of that, that fish. What the, fish? The, the yeah, the, the, the light, the light yes. from Finding Nemo. Oh. Yeah. I still think he reminds me of a bulldog with an underbite. Yeah, I, I, see too, I see yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. 2019, another year goes by, completely new year, two years after. They arrest another guy. Now, this is January 8th. Now, this guy looks pretty remarkably close to the, the photo here. This guy, his name, his, his name is Charles Andrew Eldridge. If you want to... Uh, Tell me if he looks close. Whoa, oh. that is right on the money. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I mean, that's, I see the resemblance. We've we've seen this. Remember, you know that clip uh, like that YouTube still of the guy that's the news anchor and he's like, it's like it's looking for most oh, wanted. Yeah. And it looks exactly <laughs> yeah, it's like, like yes. us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? Dude, yeah. hold on. No, no, we're going to get sidetracked. Oh, you dude. can't do it. You can't okay. do it. <laughs> All right. So. What do you guys think? This is the I'm just going through everything. So when All right. the guy when someone finally gets arrested, which I think is going to be very soon, or when someone gets when someone gets you know convicted for it, then you know everything that went on. So any questions so far? Charles Andrew Eldridge, 43. What do you think he was arrested for? Being being mean, being angry. Yeah, he looks that like haircut. He looks which like I can't Uncle. talk. <laughs> but he I get really like. Talk. Mr. He looks like Dursley. He looks like he would like <laughs> slaughter some pig or take some pigs okay. and bring like. This is going to sound remains. bad because we. This isn't the guy. Yeah, so. this isn't the guy. <laughs> like, but he oh, is a piece of shit now. Oh no. Okay. Okay. He, he so was arrested. He, he was arrested. So we can't talk shit about him because he was arrested when he was trying to pick up a 14 year old girl. The girl was actually a police officer. That had dressed herself up as a it was a sting. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Stings, so I yeah. don't feel bad. So if you just take his <laughs> finger, take your fingers and shorten that mustache. Oh man, just no. a little oh, bit. You see it? Yeah. You, you see, see what? It? Yeah. You see just what? Just shorten that mustache. He looks like Uncle Adolf. Yeah. yeah. He looks like Hitler. Oh, he looks <laughs> like Hitler. 
You know, Hitler was a Rothschild. <laughs> well, you said that. <laughs> well, he was a descendant of a Rothschild. So his grandmother. We're going to get off no, track No, his here. grandmother was. I'm. Oh, you're telling me to get off track? His grandmother My was. My comment was relevant. It's like the time I spent 10 minutes talking about the Kennedys. His grandmother was a, the maid of one of the Rothschilds. And she got pregnant ah. by one of the Rothschilds. Yeah. So Hitler is a Rothschild. Interesting. He's, yeah. Or was. Illegitimately. Yeah. Well, he yeah, he's dead now, but he died probably, I don't know, 1980. In Argentina. Yeah, in Argentina. Or Chile. <laughs> no, I Just think kidding. it's Argentina. Yeah. I think he died in the bunker. That's sick of that guy. I don't know. No, oh. he didn't die in the bunker. He had a Look body like double. Police woman. He had a double. Okay, we're not going to go there If today. freaking Avril Lavigne has a double, then freaking Hitler See, can that have a is, double. I don't dude. know. I don't think... I think Avril Lavigne is still her. January 8th, 2019, they arrest this guy. He was 46. Does he have, like, jaundice or something? Like, around his eyes is, like, so yellow. That's probably black eyes from being beat up. Maybe. Oh, good. He should be beat yeah. up. Deservedly so. Yeah. So he, he tried to pick up a 14-year-old girl, and it was actually a cop. Dressed like a fourteen-year-old girl, like in Reno Nine One One, the prostitute sing during the press conference. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> with uh, Terry, who was his name, the roller skate guy. Ah, uh, <laughs> Katie thinks that Hitler faked his death too. There you said go. that you thought he died in the bunker. I was saying sh- to John. Oh, because you sounded really bunker. excited about that. He didn't die in the bunker. I am excited that someone else thinks that. I was thinking about doing a standalone podcast on that one, Katie. He what didn't. Do you think? Uh, pushing her podcast again. I still need to do my episode. Oh, you have your own podcast? I did one about a Nazi cult in Chile. And she has the Holiday Every Day podcast. I do. You do about like the Nazi stuff in uh, Long Island and stuff. Oh. There's like a whole thing on the Suffolk. Oh. And they say they have the statue up there, apparently. Isn't one of Hitler's descendants living in Long Island? His great grandfather? son or something like that i don't know interesting and tell more. me what what happened with all the hitler youth i mean though they had him became all like a training camp yeah in Long Island, we should like hitler youth. we should put them all on record yeah i mean if, yeah uh, we, i feel like that's not doing any better than what they i mean it is better but no, like, just to like, keep them you know going because like dude, you they make were sure like, it doesn't happen they again. were trained to freaking kill not Jew, kill to or, that, massacre. They were trained to think that they're the only race right. that should exist. Is yeah, everyone else is subservient, expendable. Ah, Katie thinks I should do it. During the press conference, the locals now this he was arrested not for Delphi at all, but he was arrested in like near Delphi, and during the press conference when they arrested this guy for this unrelated charge, the locals noticed the similarity between him and the sketch. That is how he got to be associated with this crime. Okay. January 10th, 2019, he is completely ruled out. In a news release, Randolph County Police said, quote, outside of the person resembling the sketch, there is currently zero evidence that ties him to the case, and he is not a suspect in the case. Although we understand that people are trying to help the investigation by doing this with zero evidence other than a mere appearance, it can hurt or hinder an investigation, the, the department said. It looks like this guy is, like, taller. I don't know if it's just the sketch. Yeah, or he looks like, taller than the sketch. Yes, yes, I'm, yeah. That was January 10th, 2019. He's rolled out. April 22nd, 2019, the Indiana State Police released the new audio with the guys down the hill instead of down the hill. And the and the video, a longer length video of him walking an extra step. And also a sketch, another sketch of him looking younger. They were trying to take the case in a, quote, new direction, end quote. So this, look, I mean, that looks you can nothing. fucking tell how these sketches are hurting this investigation, mm-hmm. dude. This looks nothing like this guy. But this is apparently the younger version. What are people supposed to do? Like, they're now looking for this guy. Yeah, these police sketches do not fucking help, in my opinion. So this sketch is a person who has lived or has lived in Looks Delphi. Looks like uh, Corey what from are you doing? Boy Meets World. <laughs> yeah, in, he does. 
Yeah, he does look like Corey. I like Corey. I didn't like Trevor. What was his name? Trevor? Trevor? I don't know. Sean? Sean. Sean. I didn't like Sean. I've never seen Wayne's World. Oh, We're not talking Wayne's about Wayne's World. World. What the oh, I thought fuck? you said Wayne's World. I've never seen Wayne's World either, but I'm talking Wayne's about Boy Meets World. World. Oh, okay. I have seen Boy Meets World. That does look like Corey. John had a huge thing for Topanga. I still Ooh. have a thing for Topanga. We like chat. <laughs> <laughs> On Snapchat? Grinder? Ashley Madison. Is that thing? <laughs> Ashley Madison. <laughs> I get shut down. <laughs> um, she went to prom with Lance Bass. Webcam girls. <laughs> Did not know that. Now, this guy has lived or has lived in Delphi, 18 to 40 years old, may appear younger than he is. Quote, this is not a cold case, the Carroll County Prosecutor Nicholas McLean said. This case is not closed. We are not done with this investigation. There are countless people working on this every day, end quote. Now, if you want to read this. Superintendent Doug Carter addressed Killer, saying, We believe you are hiding in plain sight. For more than two years, you never thought we would shift gears to a different investigative strategy, but we have. We have interviewed you or someone close to you. We know that this is about power to you. You want to know what we know. One day, you will. You didn't give me a beer. I had gotten that for Jen a while back. Are you ready for another? Yeah. Look, it was empty. All right. So July 9th, 2019 is the next information. That's when Libby's sister, Kelsey, actually first goes on YouTube and debunks conspiracies. Some of the conspiracies were effed up. People were, you know, the quote you read about the grandfather. Mm -hmm. People were saying that the grandfather has something to do with Uh. it. They were saying, well, why doesn't the dad come out and be more public? Well, obviously. I, I'm kind of confused about that, too. I mean, I mean, the, but because because of this, right, online sleuths began harassing the family. They were saying that the family is refusing to take a lie detector test. Like They're making this stuff up oh, mm. and they're looking at the dad like, oh, he's got something to hide because he won't talk to every news media out there. Well, because he doesn't want to get harassed by all you fucking online sleuths, right? So she comes on YouTube and she she lays that out. Obviously, it's not the family. Like, come on. Like, that that's ridiculous, right? I you wouldn't know? either if yeah. that was something that happened to me. So, but the sister, Libby's sister is actually online and trying to steer. Clear the air and clear, yeah, try, yeah. To, try to get all these soup, uh, sleuths. Yeah, so this is a quote from her. Absolutely no one refused a lie detector test, German said. That's a very big misconception. We've been very open and gave the police everything that we know. Also, the police get a lot of shit, and this is what she said. So I'm taking the case out of her mouth. If she says it, I'm putting that down as the actuality, right? Because it's the freaking sister. Well, we... I agree with that, but also we wouldn't do that for what's his face. Ramsey. Ah. Well, it's different. Like yeah, this, that's is, completely this is different. Not on their property or yeah, anything yeah. like that. True, like, true. Totally true. random. Just playing devil's advocate. I was just playing devil's advocate, sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. Oh. I felt like I did. Your apology <laughs> is not accepted. <laughs> How about <laughs> this one? <laughs> They're very honest and forthcoming, and contrary to what most people seem to think, we really like our law enforcement, German said. All right, so... I mean, so when was the, the statement that I read about they feel like they've interviewed someone, either them or someone close to them? When was that statement from? Like, how long ago was that? That was 2000. That was 2019. Here's the thing with I the mean, case. I mean, they make it seem like they're coming for you hot. But here, yeah, but they always do that. Here's the thing with the case. It could be someone that was working in the area at the time that's from freaking Florida or New York. Right. You know what I'm saying? That is there temporarily a truck driver that stopped through there. Like, you know what I'm saying? That I'm it not saying that's random. what happened, but it could be nearly freaking impossible to catch this guy, mm. depending on what they have that they haven't released. About the phones pinging, because everyone's like, well, they moved the body and all this stuff. But this is what uh, Libby said about that. 
Libby's phone did ping on two towers, but that was because the town is so small. If you move to one side of the house, your phone will switch towers sometimes. Another reason why the family doesn't come out. The family did come out with a GoFundMe page. They wanted to build a park for a memorial park for Abby and Libby, mm. the, the victims. Well, people started saying online that the family is using the money and just pocketing it, which is comp- is horrible to fucking think of. The park is open now and they have they've already played I saw one post from last year where they played the first softball game. It's a nice park. Aww. But this is the the mm. the actual website of the park. It's completely built out now. But they're not taking the money and pocketing it. Yeah, who all right, who would do your daughter is dead. You're gonna take that money? However, we have seen people yeah, set up like those that case go, with the funeral. We cost. did do, we did see one like that. Yeah, but but in this case, I don't think that's happening. Yeah, but yeah, but exactly. It's just not what's happening here. They built the freaking park. Parks are not like a thousand bucks. It's like two hundred grand. The other was someone raising a hundred thousand dollars for funeral yeah. expenses. Yeah, for uh, two funerals, a hundred thousand dollars, which is like uh, okay, <laughs> a funeral costs what, like five thousand? Uh, you know, like that. maybe ten thousand if you get a really nice one. So where's the other money coming from? That was a different story. That that woman was a thug and a drug dealer and. A very bad person. So anyway. I just think it's really, I don't know. I just, it's so, definitely, something un, I don't know. Well, you think kids. it's some of the family? No, 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 no. The, just two kids just dro- been dropped off. But it's, it's probably a, from what, if I was a guest, and I know I'm speculating, it was an opportunity crime from someone not in the area. Yeah, yeah. You know? It makes sense. I no, mean, I'm just saying, it's just like, I don't know. I, I feel like my parents would have not let me. Well, my parents are kind of Oh, dropped you off, you mean? Yeah, like... If you look at the bridge, and I saw someone go through the Google Earth, like, of the bridge, where you can walk through it, it's actually... There's a lot of opportunity there. If if the guy is walking towards them, he knows that no one is behind him. He can see that no one is coming. He also can kind of see, if they're on the bridge, that no one is coming towards them there's a lot of there's a lot of uh like blind spots that are huge you know in in this park or whatever so but but then again i mean to think like who who would think this would happen i mean what if this happened in somerville in a little park in somerville yeah you know what i'm saying like this stuff doesn't happen right but until it does so i think it was opportunity crime i don't know anyway they said that uh, people online were saying that uh, they were pocketing the cash. And um, Kelsey says, quote, it's going to benefit our community so much and it's helping our family to grieve. It's an outlet for us to keep busy. So people are shitty. Let's talk about the next guy arrested. There's a lot of people arrested. So this is kind of getting you uh, into the case. Who's this guy? He looks like a nice guy. <laughs> he looks like that guy from Entourage. <laughs> Vinny's uh, Vinny's cousin. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the guy from The Wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, July twenty second, a sexual predator. What? This is a sexual predator right here. Paul Etter, E T T E R. He was looked at as being very suspicious to this case. But he was. There was a warrant for his arrest, and the police were coming to get him. They knew exactly where he was. He actually had kidnapped a, a random woman that had broken down on the side of the road, kidnapped and held her host and he- and held her hostage and assaulted her for several hours. She gets free and then she goes to law enforcement and they go after this guy. However, right before they arrested him, he kills himself. Mm. So According to court documents, a woman called police and said she was driving home on County Road 900 East in Tippecanoe County when she got a flat tire around 4.30 a.m. Saturday. She said she pulled into a driveway and a man asked her if she needed help. She told police that she did not know the man and she thought he was suspicious. Documents say she le- then left and drove up to County Road 900 East to a friend's house with the flat tire. The man followed her in a car, and documents say he approached the woman and put her in handcuffs. What? He then put her into his car and drove to another location, according to prosecutors. Oh, she's lucky she's still alive. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. So th- this is telling you, th- I mean, this is like 
I think this episode is really cool because it's like it's showing you the police process. Like they've they've arrested a shit ton of people. April 2021, the next lead, the next person arrested comes in. Another person, James Cadwell II. He was charged with kidnapping and attempted murder of a nine-year-old girl. He lives in Lafayette, Indiana, 20 miles away from Delphi. He invited her to his home to see his dogs, and then he locked her in the basement and assaulted her. If you want to read this. Kelsey said, Yes, I've seen his name all over. No new updates, no press release. There is no suspect in custody in this case. Law enforcement is looking into a tip that was sent in that is now being made way bigger than it is. Until law enforcement says he's a suspect, he is no more than another name they're looking at. This guy is also a shitbag. He court court documents say that he quote hit her and choked her repeatedly in the bait like locked her in the basement and did this. Chadwell was also choking her with his hands on her neck and also using his arm in a headlock to point where she passed out, prosecutors say. When the girl came to, she said most of her clothes were off, and Chadwell took her down to the basement where he forced her to perform sexual ass- acts, the documents mm. state. What the fuck is going on in Indiana? <laughs> I know, that's what Katie yeah, said. nothing to so do many, there, so there. So many fucking sexual predators up There's in there, a, They're everywhere, honestly. Yeah. This guy has another family member that doesn't really help him out too much. This is the this is the brother. This is what the brother says. Oh shit, sorry. This is what the brother says about him. I've always had a sense that he's capable of being so mean, but to do something like this, that is beyond mean. That is I mean the only definition for an action like that is evilness. Right. You know, p- pure evil. That, there's nothing from the heart there at all. You know, and then to hear that she had been bitten by his dogs <laughs> made me almost puke. He's always had a vicious streak towards what women he's been with in the past anyway. You know, they were always single mothers, and he was just as physical with them as, as he's showing that he can still be physical today. I don't think there's any way possible to rehabilitate him. Right. And I feel that, and that's the God's honest truth, you know, I mean, because he's been in and out of the system since he was a kid. And you would think being 42 years old, about time you get, get your act together, you know. Right. And, and he's never uh, managed to go down the right path. It's always got to be rebellious. You know, he, he goes by outlaw, so he thinks he's this outlaw, you know, always wanting to be a Bobby badass to whoever he can and just, you know, fight everybody that he can and it's not just a little you know roughness go out there beat him up and be done settle it like that he's out to hurt people when he fights you know he wants to break bones so that's the brother about this guy good for him for speaking out yeah jesus christ man oh jesus indiana wait wasn't that where bryce rose was from or was that kentucky i don't remember uh, same I don't thing remember. And if I ever live in Indiana, I'm going to open up a clothing store called Indiana Jeans. It's always <laughs> been something I wanted to do. I'm sure. I'm sure. So. <laughs> Indiana Jeans. <laughs> nice. Like, all right. And I'll open up a Trader Jones right next to it. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Trader Jones. <laughs> okay. Wrapping this up. This is the latest news right here from People Magazine, the 24th of December, 2021. If something happened between the 24th and now, I didn't get it because I did this case on the 24th. Okay, so this is the brand new news. Another guy has been arrested. Okay, his name is Keegan Anthony Klein, which reminds me of that one guy. Keegan, Keegan Michael Keegan. Yeah, Keegan Mike and Keaton or whatever. Keegan, Keegan Michael Keegan Mike and Keaton. Yeah, whatever. That show. Like Keegan Peel. His name is Keegan Anthony Klein, 27 On December 6th, the Indiana State Police, December 6th is in 30 days ago, the Indiana State Police were seeking info on a, quote, fake social media account, end quote. This is where the whole case is turning. So, guys down the hill, maybe it was a meetup situation. This guy had a fake social media account. His, he would use the name, quote, Anthony Under dash shots in quote he's from peru indiana 
He was actually locked up, or he's currently locked up in Miami County, and he has he is facing thirty. And this is the guy right here. If you want to describe him, he is facing thirty counts of child exploitation, Ooh. possession of child pornography, and he actually pleaded guilty on August twenty first, two thousand and twenty. This is the guy that is linked to the Delphi murders at this point. So he, so let me get this straight. He had a Twitter account that how how no. was, no, was it was Facebook? It, yeah, it, no, it was. I think it was Snapchat. Snapchat. Oh, yeah, Snapchat. Like fake social. The police don't put out everything. So when they say "quote fake social media account" end quote, that is so what they we think have. That he was catfishing and luring them. Yeah, to, to this. He's area. got thirty counts of child exploitation, which, I mean, I don't even. I mean, what what would that even consist of? I mean, well, it, this well, is all the information that's out. So, like, it's it all speculation, like right? At this point, getting a getting a minor to share photos, but so thirty, like yeah, maybe that, or like undress accounts. or something. Yeah, I well, mean, that would be, I guess, child, child pornography. pornography. Oh, yeah. He was also arrested. I mean, he was also in, found in possession with child pornography as well. So maybe that's linked together. I mean, he is a, a heavy set fellow which does attribute to like the the person on the video but he looks heavier than the well yeah i mean th- that was also four years ago That's he true. probably ate he's been eating a lot of pizza since then or something i don't know fuck i mean i'm sorry i'm being mean to him but he's a fucking child molester. It, c- it could definitely yeah. be him if you want to read this it could be him just as much as any of the other people that didn't look like the sketch yeah. you know none of them looked like the sketch right uh, Klein has allegedly admitted to using fake social media accounts to talk to girls in 2016 and 2017, even if they told him they were under the age of 16, according to a probable cause affidavit out of the Miami County obtained by WTHR. Hmm. So that is the updates. That episode was for you, Chanel Van Tonder, who said, will you do an update on the Delphi murders? I hope the new info breaks the case. And I hope she, so too. Yeah. She said that on December 9th. So I did a whole episode just for you. And I hope you guys liked it. I don't know yeah, how that it was. was. It was more of a timeline case. No, it, it was it was great. Definitely different. The next case we're about to do is a crazy case. And I know you guys know the case already because we once covered it on a Patreon story never released it public. It is a paranoia case or it's either paranoia, schizophrenia or something like that, or police harassment and possible murder. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, so, man. <laughs> and it is a crazy, <laughs> crazy case. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. I know mm-hmm. it was not our usual setup for the episodes, but I don't know. It was good. Yes. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. I've been thinking about this case a lot, so I'm glad you did an update. Well, that is what has been happening with the case. A lot of people arrested. A lot of people off the street. Yeah, that's yeah. Just really good. Yeah, and, I mean, they're all criminals, whether they had a, a, a hand yeah. in that case or not. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't think it's bad when someone's arrested for trying to pick up a 14-year-old and then... Or a 9-year-old. A 9-year-old. And then they're linked to this murder because yes. now everyone knows. Yes. You know? Yes. Now everyone knows you. Yeah. Did it or not. Like, you can't... Say, it's not like that one guy that can obviously... Can actually say that this has ruined my life because from what I've seen, all he had was expired tags. You know what I'm saying? That sucks. But for these guys, it's like, a, dude, fuck a you. A wife who like, didn't care about him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, he's got some marital issues yeah. to work out, yeah. but... I don't think that's him. I don't know. That jacket is definitely not his, though. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. Um, this is uh, Talk More Movie Podcast. Love you guys. Until next time, good night, you lovely, lovely people.